I want to show you the cover of a book because it illustrates graphically what we're going to be talking about. This is absolutely one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors, which would be me. Um, <laughs> you see there, there's a row of red apples over here. You want that to be your competition. Can't tell the difference, just can't tell the difference. You want to be the green apple. The basic idea is how do you separate yourself from the competition? How do you differentiate so clearly that the marketplace doesn't even see you as being in the same category? Look for the ideas that can help you be the best at what matters most. Those are as basic as it gets, but they're so good at the basics that they are cutting edge. Be the best at what matters most. You know there's an old saying, and I think it's more relevant today than it's ever been. It says, don't learn the tricks of the trade, learn the trade. If you focus on quality and consistency and you are relentless about continuous improvement, then you win. Be the best, that's the ultimate different. My little business has been very successful. We're very good at what we do. And because of that, I have to remember to say every day, Callaway, if you're successful, that means you know what used to work. You with me? And I'll say it to everybody in this room, I know who I'm talking to. I know how good you are. And if you're successful, that means you know what used to work. Tomorrow's another day, isn't it? This is a room full of experts. For the next three days, my advice is forget that you're an expert, okay? Just forget that you're an expert. On the plane from Nashville to Orlando this morning, there was a guy in the row behind me. If he was a day, he was 70 years old. It was his first time on an airplane. I don't, oh, isn't that precious? But I thought, <laughs> as we were taking off, I thought, how cool is this for him? I have been on thousands, it's the nature of, I've been on thousands of flights in the last 30 years. This is this guy's first time to take off and I thought, wow, how cool must that be for him? See, that's what you need, that's the mindset you need to have here at this event. You've got to work hard enough, get your thinking clean enough to have a beginner's mind. Now let me ask a much, much, much tougher question. We are nearly unanimous, if not unanimous, in our agreement that we have to get better every day. Everybody agrees. Well, we have to get better. It's, a, it's an imperative. It's a requirement. Have to get better every day. What did you do yesterday that made you better? Well, we couldn't get better yesterday. We were slammed yesterday. You should have been there. I want us to open our minds. All of this is to help set the stage for the, the bombarding of ideas that you're going to be hit with over the next few days. Open up your minds, and now it's your turn. I don't do a typical one-way speech. In my presentations, people engage. They engage with me, they engage with each other, they engage with the ideas. It creates an energy that actually carries over into the rest of the event. The feedback we get on this is extraordinary. Here's my favorite story about little kids being open. It's Ken Robinson's story. A little girl in kindergarten class drawing a picture. I mean, just will not raise her eyes from it. Laser beam focus on it. To the point that the teacher goes, what in the world is she working on over there? Teacher makes her way over to the little girl and says, honey, what are you drawing? Little girl looks up and says, I'm drawing a picture of God. The teacher kind of laughs and says, but honey, nobody knows what God looks like. Little girl says, they will in a couple of minutes. <laughs> now, are you a customer of Les Schwab? Right now? How many of you are customers of Les Schwab? Raise your hands. Okay, a few of you, a dozen of you. Answer this for me. When you pull your car into a Les Schwab parking lot, what happens? They They run to your car. This was not rehearsed. And the thing that I love to imagine is that it didn't happen in some big strategy retreat with the executives. 
I love to imagine that at the end of the day, one day, they're all standing around the tire store and somebody says, we sell tires. How can we set ourselves apart? And I imagine some 18-year-old kid with grease on his face and he's standing over there and he says, I don't know. Maybe we could just like run out there or something. Yes! <laughs> yes! Maybe you could just run out there or something. I was always thinking, am I running to the car? Am I running to the car? Am I demonstrating that you are the most important thing in my world right now? Your next best idea is everywhere. It's a matter of putting your antenna out and being intentional about looking for them. Great companies have great ideas and they take action on them. Now listen carefully. Mediocre companies also have great ideas. The difference is they don't take action on them. How many of you have something that you know you should do in your business? You know you should do it. It's the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. You are capable of doing it. It would make things better. And you're not doing it. Is it just me? Anybody else? Can I get a witness? <laughs> My 10 year old is playing soccer this year. God, I love this coach. He's so good. At the first practice, he had the, uh, the girls doing a drill. And some of them were kind of, they, well, they just weren't into it. They weren't applying themselves. And some of them you could tell they, they didn't want to go all out because they, they were messing up and that embarrassed them. And the coach said, hey, everybody, listen to me. Get this clear for the entire season. I don't mind if you mess up. I really mind if you don't try. Ooh, let me just take that intravenously. That's good advice for a soccer team, for a business. The ideas that you will hear at this event are only of value if you take action. Michelangelo said the great danger for most of us is not that we will aim too high and miss it. The great danger for most of us is that we will aim too low and hit it. Thank you so much for having me. This is such a privilege. Aim high. Have a great time, gang. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. We do one thing. We help companies become a category of one, and we're really good at it.